What we do at Output is reinvent sounds from every aspect that you can imagine from recording to mastering to processing to flipping it and making it something you've never heard before. This was a very unique opportunity for us to take that mindset but apply it to a whole new project. We were wondering how we could take the challenge that was platform, creating something that we've never really made before, but then reinventing that into something completely new. And so I just came up with an idea about giving the neighborhood like a little central library where we could share books with one another. We got in touch with the park, which is just opened across the street and saw this as an opportunity to give back to the community that we found ourselves around in Los Angeles. As we were working on platform and mocking up all of the different designs and creating prototypes, we had these prototypes just kind of living in the office. The architect that we were working with, Megan, we brought her along and asked her if she was down to start reinventing the prototype and breathe like a whole new life into it. I just feel it was just a really great opportunity for Output to just allow me the freedom to just explore different designs and just the different aesthetic and repurposing the desk too was also just an interesting challenge. There was kind of a precedent set with the desk, right? We wanted to mirror some elements from that. We wanted to move a similar design language from that. So pulling like the Output logo into the design, the platform desk into the design, you know, so we were mixing lots of different things together. Repurposing the desk it provided some like pretty interesting size limitations using like the existing legs that kind of set like a height. So we were dealing with kind of built-in constraints that we had, which are fun. You know, I think constraints help focus and target your final design no matter what it is. Even certain features of you know the slides, reusing the slides from the desk, even reusing all the hardware. In terms of mobility, I kind of looked around the office for some kind of inspiration, bicycles. So that was sort of one aspect of the inspiration of having like the big wheels and just having that mobility aspect kind of built into the library as part of the aesthetic. There are elements, you know, like to make it kind of friendly or approachable, color pops, big graphics, you know, interesting surface textures, just things that invite people to use it. When we were deciding on how um, to share this unit with the community, we brought in a jazz band uh, called the Vignus Rooftop Revival. They're this gypsy folk jazz fusion band that was perfect for the occasion. They won't go to any shows that they can't transport all of their gear to on wheels. Um, we went across the street to the park, we wheeled over the little library with the entire team, and we just kind of posted it and decided on just enjoying some music. So we had Ableton as well as Musicians Institute. They came in and donated a bunch of different books on how to do rock drumming, to solo guitar lessons. From there, we kind of made it back to the office and just kind of had a party of it. This unit is supposed to signify the entire community and all of the different creative energies that were a part of how the idea came about, as well as what ideas it's going to inspire. The little library was reinvented and transformed from something that we already created. And I think that process of reinvention is something that's very, very core to who we are.